Hi, Goro. How are you? Yeah, I'm also fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So, can you tell us something about yourself? I, uh, as you know, my name is Gaurav Kumar. I'm uh, basically from, from uh, Bijnor in Uttar Pradesh. And currently, I am working with Iono uh, Digital Labs. I have total four years of experience in software testing, manual software testing. And I have experience of manual testing like uh, smoke testing, regression testing, functional testing. And I'm working with the e-commerce domain. I have also a, uh, knowledge of SDLC, SDLC, and the Agile methodology. Mm -hmm. And uh, my my role and responsibility is there to prepare test cases and test planning, attending daily uh, scrum meetings like that. Okay, that's me. Okay. As far as my qualification is concerned, yes, yes, please go ahead. As far as my uh, yeah yeah, as far as my qualification is concerned, I have completed my schooling from UP Budalabad. and my graduation BSc completed from Rohilkan University Bareilly and. Uh, I also uh, completed my MBA degree in marketing and IT. Okay, great. That's me. Wonderful. So, can you tell us something about your project? Like, how many test cases do you write every day? And you are having five plus years of experience, right? So, are you leading? I have four four year four year four year of experience. I have. Okay, you have four years. And basically, I am handling is the yeah yeah yeah, and I am handling is there. Uh, uh, e-commerce domain basically okay so are you leading a team of uh, people or you are an individual contributor no i'm not leading any team i'm an individual content yes okay great so how many team members are working with you how many qa team members are working with you uh, basically we are uh, three uh, three member in my team basically okay okay so basically this, it's, a, it's it's a it's, it's startup uh, startup company Okay. So very small organization. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. No issue. See, these days, you know, from startup also, you will come to know, you'll get a lot of knowledge. Right. Okay. Now this, yeah, right, right, right. yeah. So now can you tell me high level test scenarios of how you are testing e-commerce based website? So if uh, we are talking about the high level scenario of, uh, let's say example of, uh, uh, we can say is uh, Amazon login page. So there is a, security test cases there uh, verify to the uh, to verify that the user clicks on the back button of the browser of the and after successful logout and verify the session timeout and check the maximum limit of the unsuccessful login attempt mm -hmm. and check the session timeout and the system should log out and the user for the give time uh, check the once user logged in and uh, click the back button doesn't log out the user uh, basically these are the security uh, we can say high level uh, test scenario mm -hmm. yes, yes okay okay so when when this question is asked to you in a real time interview so you have to tell the end to end flow so one is about the login that you were telling login change password will come yeah, yeah. password will come yeah yeah after login you will enter into the website. So in the website, you will get various options. You might get search option to search some particular product. Then how will you add some yes, yes, product right. to the cart? The UI UX related options, the filter, the sorting options. So all this you will be testing, right? So you have to tell those test scenarios. Then coming to the payment gateway method. Once the product has been added to the cart, then you will be yes. doing the payment. So all those payment related options, those would be covering into the test scenarios. Then the negative test scenarios when your credit card or your debit card does not have sufficient balance or it has got expired. So those are in uh, this kind of scenarios you have to tell. And then the final delivery. So one email confirmation would be going, then amount would get deducted. Then the final product would be dispatched. So all those things you have to cover when you are telling about the e-commerce based uh, testing scenarios. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Now coming to the next question, uh, can you tell us about uh, one particular defect which you had found and you got appreciation or you got acknowledgement from your team or client that you know this particular defect you had found and it was impacting the business so much that uh, it was missed by everyone and if it would have been missed by you as well, so it would have been a great loss to the company. So any such defect that is coming to your mind? 
yeah uh, once a defect is coming when uh, we are trying to uh, add the product into the carts there is a uh, not increasing the value of the product there uh, suppose uh, i have to need to uh, add two more items in the cart mm -hmm. there, there is no supporting the only one item uh, is adding in the carts mm -hmm. so i found that is bug it is a high severity bug so mm -hmm. we can say is my you can say my achievements okay okay so you found out that particular bug and uh, yes, yes yes so that product is not getting added into the cart added into the cart yes okay yes okay. it cannot increasing we cannot increasing the numbers of product like two or three mm -hmm. it only uh, added one numbers of the particular products mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah yeah okay now coming to this uh, you know as you are working on e-commerce based domain so whenever you enter something into the search field right the let's say you enter a product of a shirt right so shirt related search would come when you enter something with respect yes. to pen then pen related search would come right now yes, how will you verify the search result list which changes consistently based on the each search word and filters you have kept how will you verify this kind of thing we need to enter the uh, particular product we we are searching uh, like said we are searching to put in the sites and uh, there is a filter sizes and the prices there are a lot of filters is there mm -hmm. so we can identify the uh, product mm -hmm. okay so you will identify but how will you uh, you know create a test strategy for this what would be your test strategy can you help me for this yeah yeah sure sure see now if this question comes to you in a in an interview there are various aspects right now what is the purpose of this test what we have to verify is we have to verify whether that search function is working and whether the correct rendering is happening happening or not and then you know over here uh, you have to you know create various samples of test data for example when it comes to shirt then you have to create test data with respect to size of the shirt color of the shirt maybe brands of the shirt right so you will have to create some kind of this kind of test data right now when you have this test data so this test data again then you can break into those test scenarios and again your test scenarios would be broken into the test cases the scenario would be verify the search is working with respect to the brand of the shirt verify the search is working with respect to the color of the shirt so this is how you have to identify the samples from samples test samples you will get test scenarios from test scenario you will get uh, test cases and then test it right now what needs to be tested okay so this was what what is a uh, what needs to be tested further is like to what extent you will test for example it might happen whenever you are searching any product it will have lot of results so the pagination you will have to test the results might be going till 50 page 60 pages so that kind of uh, what what is the result that is coming in the first 20 pages right now there is also a filter available so you can also provide a filter of searching the shirts with respect to going from expensive to inexpensive or from inexpensive from low price to high price so that those kind of search thing you can search kind of testing you can do right then uh, you also can test the performance like how much time is it taking to load all the data for example it might be having many records for example when you search something related to headphones so a lot of companies data would come right so how much time is it taking so you can test performance as well at that time and then you can tell if in the as yes, you are following agile methodology so you can see the acceptance criteria is it mentioned like in 10 minutes this many records should be uh, displayed then accordingly you have to make the test case pass or fail okay so this you can take care is it is it clear now yeah yeah sir clear clear Great. so we were working on this e-commerce domain based Hmm.
now uh, in your resume it is mentioned you are responsible for troubleshooting and reproduce the issue that was once reported in the production environment by analyzing the server logs so can you please explain this kind of scenario uh, uh like uh, let's say example of um, amazon websites mm. hello yes sir can you repeat the question again can you repeat sure. the question sure, again sure sure in your in your cv uh, i came across a line in which uh, you know it is mentioned that you are responsible for troubleshooting and reproducing the issue that the client has got or reported in the production environment by analyzing the server logs so can you please elaborate this scenario So actually, I cannot understanding what you want to say. Actually, uh, okay, okay. Let me let me share my screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, show that particular line in your resume. See this particular line, right? Responsible yes. for troubleshooting and reproduce issue reported in the production environment by analyzing the server logs, right? So, can you please uh, explain about this? Mm. I don't have any idea. Can you? Okay, okay. So, see, whenever you are putting all these kind of things in your resume, you make sure that you have got a proper log, uh, answer of it. This particular questions are asked. Now, I'll I'll give give you the answer for now for this particular question. So, it has been mentioned. So you can take an example that uh, you know the the product. Let's let's take an example of search itself. So the client had reported a defect that whenever you are searching shirts in the search item in the search box, they are only able to see hundred shirts, right? Now, when you are doing this particular testing in your test environment or in the development or in the staging environment. Then you are able to see one thousand shirts. So what did client do? Client was able to see only hundred shirts instead of one thousand. So they have reported a defect. Now you went into uh, the client meeting. You had a call with them, and you asked them to share your screen because they won't give you the access of the production environment. So they will. You will ask them to share the screen, and then they will show you. See, I am able to see only hundred shirts, right? So there can be okay. two reasons over here. In the production environment. Uh, the SQL query, which is actually working at the backend to display one thousand shots, is not working in the production environment. There can be two reasons again for this: whether that particular query is throwing some exception, or that particular, you know, uh, or the browser also is there, right? The browser might not be able to handle the uh, the query return. Right, the return of the query or the Java, or it might be done via JavaScript. Right, those particular listing of the elements. Now that JavaScript is failing to uh, work in that particular or execute in that particular production environment because they might would have got some security over there. One more thing can be there can be a browser related issue. They might be seeing that particular thing in a Mozilla Firefox browser. You might would have tested in the Google Chrome browser. Now you come to know okay now for this Firefox some X Y Z version it is not working. Okay. Let's see in the Google Chrome browser. Yes, in the Google Chrome browser, in the production environment also, it is working. So you'll come to know the root cause. Okay, it's a browser-related issue. This is the second instance. First was the query itself was not working, maybe due to the security issues. Second thing is the browser issue. Third thing is about the JavaScript issue, right? So you analyzed the logs. How did you came to know? You would have asked them to. Uh, Share the logs with you. In the logs, you would be seeing okay, this particular query is returning null over there. It's not giving the same response as it is giving in the test environment, right? So this is how you will analyze and then you will respond to them. Okay. Uh, in your resume, it is mentioned you are involved in backend testing. So what kind of backend testing you are doing? Backend testing is a database testing, we can say. Okay. So, can you tell me one particular scenario or test scenarios in which you are doing database testing and what actually and how you are testing it? In database testing, we are uh, basically we are.
ভালো গৌরব